Welcome to the Recon Trader. Now, the other day, the team over at Trade Santa reached out to me and requested that I give their platform a shot. And so, in today's video, I will show you how to set up and deploy a grid bot on the Trade Santa platform. Now, if you're not familiar with Trade Santa, it is an automated crypto trading platform that basically allows you to deploy crypto trading bots. And you can simply start out by connecting your exchange to the platform via API keys, which I will show you in the upcoming video in a moment. And by doing so, you don't actually send money to Trade Santa. Your funds stay on your exchange and your funds are as secure as they can be when being held on an exchange. Now, after you have your exchange connected to the platform, it's time to go ahead and deploy a bot and we will get into the configuration of a bot here in a couple moments. But first, if you're wondering what type of investment would be required, they do offer a three day free trial. I will leave a link in the description down below. After the three day trial expires, you could actually get started for $14 a month and that'll get you 49 bots. I'm guessing that has most of you covered. Now let's get to configuring a bot and get it deployed. So after you have joined Trade Santa and you log in to your dashboard, the first thing you'll need to do is come over here to the access points and you're going to need to add an access point or in this case, an exchange. And you can choose from the different exchanges. Today, I will be connecting Binance US to the platform. So I would need to go to my Binance account and log in to Binance US. And from there, I would just go to API management and then create API. I would need to name the API. In this case, we can just do test, create. After you do your Google authentication code and an email code, your API key will be created and you will need both your API key and your secret key. And so you will need to copy these keys and paste them in the appropriate spaces on Trade Santa. Now, keep in mind, it's extremely important to keep these keys secret, especially the secret key. With these keys, someone could actually have access to your account. And don't worry, I delete these keys before this video is ever uploaded. So they will essentially be destroyed and no one will have access to my account. Now, with that being said, we need to copy the API key and paste that in the API key space and then go back and grab this secret key and paste that in the API secret key space and then click create. And after you click create, you should now see the balances that apply to the exchange you just connected to the platform. And in this case, I do see those balances and we should be good to go. And now we can start to configure the actual grid bot. And you'll see over here on the left hand side toolbar, we can just select grid bots and create bot. And I need to choose my access point, which will be the Binance US. And then I have a choice to either go long or short on the bot. Long would indicate I expect the price to go up for this bot and short would be I'm expecting the price to go down for the pair that I actually choose. And so I need to choose a pair and today I'll be going with BTC USDT. And after you choose your pair, it will give you a little bit of information about the actual pair. And here you can actually see the volatility of 6%. And volatility is actually key to a grid bot. So I could actually come down here and choose VET USDT. And you'll see the volatility in the last 24 hours is almost 21%. Now, for the purposes of today's video, I will be deploying this bot on BTC USDT. And since this will be the first bot I deployed to live fire with this platform, I actually want something a little more stable so I can actually judge the performance of this particular bot. Now, with that being said, I will be doing an update video in the near future. So now would be a good time to shoot that subscribe button so you don't miss that update video on how this bot is performing. Now, moving along, I need to set up my take profit percentage and the take profit percentage is the profit you want to make when selling the coins you bought. I am going to set this as 0.70% for profit each time the bot sells and then step of extra order percentage. 
This basically indicates the percentage should the price drop for your next buy order. Basically, a grid bot is made up of buy and sell limit orders. So on the way up, it sells for a profit when I'm going long. And on the way down, it buys to accumulate at a lower price. So the idea is you want to be buying the dip and selling the rip up for profit. And so the option of step of extra order percentage is buying that dip. And I'm actually going to keep that the same as the amount of when it sells, when it goes up. Now the max count of extra orders. And so this option is basically the maximum number of extra orders the bot can execute in a row. So if the price is going down, how many buys in a row would you allow this bot to basically do? And so I will go ahead and I'll put in nine. Volume of the first order is based on your quote currency. And in this case, my quote currency is USDT. And it is the number of coins the bot will buy at the start. The amount is set in quote currency, second currency of the pair. And in this case, I will give it 50 USDT. So it's not going to buy, be able to buy coins per se, but it will be able to buy a fraction of Bitcoin. And it's important to make sure whatever amount you set here meets the minimums required on your exchange for the pair you're trading. And then the volume of extra order, meaning the extra orders if the price is going down, the amount I want to give the bot in ammo will be, again, 50 USDT. Now, maximum order price, this is an optional field. This is set the max price at which you are willing to enter the position. So right now, Bitcoin is trading around 55,500. If I didn't want to get started till, say, 55,000 or 50,000, I could set that number in there. And that would be the maximum price that the bot would be allowed to buy at. Now, I want to deploy the bot and I want it to see some action. So I'm not going to set a max order price. Now, trading without a stop loss is like going in the battle without armor. Eventually, you will get killed. We recently saw a big sell-off, and I know a lot of positions were wiped out. So, I always want to make sure I have a stop loss. And in this case, if Bitcoin crashes more than 10%, I definitely want out. I want to regroup and then redeploy. And then I will not enable the trailing stop loss. Now, Trade Santa has something a little unique, and this is a signal to start your bot. You can actually use Bollinger Bands, MACD, or RSI. And the way it would work, since I am going long, once the price of Bitcoin dips below the lower band of a Bollinger Band, it would then have an entry point to begin trading. And the same with the RSI, if the RSI became oversold and the setting I believe is 30 oversold RSI. Again, if the price dipped below that 30 level, it would then find that as an optimal entry point to begin the bot. I will not be enabling any of these features today, but perhaps I will do a video in the future. Let me know in the comment section down below if these features would interest you as far as it goes with a grid bot. And then finally, it looks like kind of a recap of the figures from above. I would actually need about 500 USDT to deploy this bot. My balance is 5,000, so I have plenty of USDT. And then I could name the bot. Looks like they've already done that for me. So I'll just keep that name. And that's pretty much it. So we'll recap real quick. The first step is to select your exchange after you've already connected via API keys. In this case, I'm using Binance US. My strategy for this bot will be long. I'm looking for the price of Bitcoin USDT to go up. And that is my pair, BTC USDT. And after you select your pair, they'll give you a little bit of data on the pair itself including volatility and the take profit percentage i said at 0 0.70 percent and the step of extra orders if the price is to drop it will buy 0 0.70 the maximum count of extra orders is nine volume of first order to be 50 usdt volume of my extra orders if the price is going down is 50 usdt i did not select a max order price i set my stop loss at 10 percent I did not select any signals to start the bot. And then it just verifies I have enough coins to deploy the bot. And the bot has been named. And so I'm ready to click save and turn on. So we give it a click. 
And so it looks like the bot started and it already placed its first order because you're going to need some BTC in case the price goes up. And so the bot is live and active and it has placed its first two orders, a take profit order and a buy order if the price is to drop. So instead of the traditional grid bots where we see a lot of the orders already placed in the form of a grid, it looks like I just have the two orders in place, the buy and the sell side. The sell will be for profit and the buy will be to accumulate if the price drops. And as I scroll down, you can see the stats of the particular bot that is deployed. And so as far as active orders, you can see I only have the two active orders. Unlike a lot of the other grid bots out there, you might have 40 or 50 active orders, like 20 on the buy side and 20 on the sell side. So it'll be interesting to see how this performs in comparison to some of those other bots. So again, now would be a good time to shoot that subscribe button as I will do an update video in the near future on this bot's performance. And that pretty much wraps it up. So if you liked the video, do me a favor, spike a like. If you have any questions or comments, leave those in the comment section down below. I will leave a link for Trade Santa in the description down below. And remember, never send your money in the battle without first doing your recon. See you in the next video.